Hello, this tutorial is about Kaplan Meier estimate or Kaplan Meier curve. In this tutorial, we will cover what Kaplan Meier estimate or KM estimate is and what it is used for. Then we will delve into how to calculate survival probability from an example. In the last section, we will plot and interpret the meaning of KM estimate. So, what is Kaplan Meier or KM estimate? KM estimate is a curve that describes the survival probability for the time. These curves can help us easily to see the survival probability of a patient group or different patient groups. So, the first row of KM estimate is to visualize the survival probability of survival data from a study cohort. Secondly, it can be used to compare the distribution of survival probabilities between two treatments or more than two treatments. You also can estimate the median survival time, that is the length of time in which half a patient dies. The KM curve is a survival probability curve. So, first of all, we will calculate the survival probability through an example. This example investigates the effect of two treatment on the survival time of a group of patients with a disease. Uh, this is the data of the study. The first column is the patient number, and the second column is the time of events. The next column is the event of interest, including died, survived, or unknown. The last column is the treatment method, and there are two treatment methods, one and two. The data are summarized in this table. As you can see, treatment one had four patients die and three patients were censored, making up a total of seven. The treatment two had six patients die and two patients were censored, making up a total of eight. The sensor data are unknown or survived data, as you can see here. There are two treatment groups, so we will calculate survival probability for each treatment. This table shows how to calculate survival probability for treatment 1. Treatment 1 has 6 patients listed in the column 1. The column 2 is the survival time and the plus size mean sensor data. The next column is the number of patients alive, and the fourth column is the number of patients died. The last column shows how we calculate the survival probability. As you can see, at the time 0, the survival probability equals 1. At day 8, the survival probability is calculated by multiplying the survival probability at time 0 that is 1, with 1 minus 1 seventh. 1 here is the number of patients died at the day 8, and 7 is the number of patients alive at day 8. At day 12, the survival probability is calculated by multiplying the survival probability at day 8 with 1 minus 1 sixth. 1 here is the number of patients died at day 12, and 6 is the number of patients alive at day 12. Because no dead record for sensor data, so the survival probabilities on day 15 and day 25 similar to that on the day 12, and we leave them blank. You can easily calculate the survival probability of day 37 and 55 as you did on the day 8 and day 12. We leave the blank for the day 72 because it is a sensor data. As you can see, the survival probability reduces as the time increases. Similar to treatment 1, you can calculate survival probability at the time point where the event occurred for treatment 2, and this are the result of calculation for treatment 2. After the survival probabilities of two treatments were calculated, they can be visualized by using KM curve. The KM curve 
can be drawn using statistical software such as R, Python, or SPSS. This graph are step curves, and you also can see the sensor data as plus size. It can be seen that probabilities at sensor time point are similar to the probability of previous events. For example, this is the previous event of these two sensor data. After you have KM curve, you need to interpret the meaning of result. In this study, KM estimates show Chisholm 1 has higher survival probability than Chisholm 2. The median survival time or the length of time in which half a patient died for Chisholm 1 is 37. Why this value of Chisholm 2 is 5? That means more patients survive in Chisholm 1 than Chisholm 2. The kaplan meier curve can give you an intuitive visualization of how different between two Chisholm is. However, to have a conclusion whether the Chisholm has a statistical effect on survival time or not, we need to perform a statistical test, for example, a log rank test. Therefore, in the next tutorial, we will look into the log rank test. Thank you and see you again.